Now today we will discuss exercise seven point two. As yesterday we discussed two properties of triangle. That is angle opposite to the equal side are also equal, and side opposite to the equal angle are also equal. Seven theorem seven point two and theorem seven point two. So we apply these two properties to solve these questions given in answer uh, question exercise seven point two. Now in the very first question. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC is given, and bisector of angle B and bisector of angle C meet at point O. Meet at point O, right? Now we need to prove OB is equal to OC, and AO is a bisector of angle A in the second part, right? Now, students, look at here. In triangle ABC, AB is equal to AC. It makes angle B is equal to angle C. Why? Because angles opposite to the equal sides are also equal. Now, if angle B is equal to angle C is equal, let it make angle one one and angle two two. Why? Because BO and CO is a bisector here, so we can name it one one and angle two two, right? Or we can say half of B is equal to half of C. Half of angle B is equal to half of angle C. We can write, right? But by by giving the number to angle, it is very easy to explain. Right, and it is very uh, easy to understand. So once we for that angle one is equal to angle two, right? So it means what? In triangle BOC, if angle one is equal to angle two, BO is equal to OC because sides opposite to the equal angle are also equal. Yes, students. Yes. Now in the second part, we need to prove AO bisect angle A. It means what? It means we need to prove this angle equal to this angle. Yes or no? How we prove this angle equal to this angle? By proving the concave criteria of triangle A B O A C O. Now in triangle A O B and A O C, A B is equal to A C given. O B is equal to O C. Thus prove prove that yes. Thus we prove and A O A O O. Right side 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 by S S S by S S S triangle A B O is congruent triangle A C O. Now students, once we prove both angles congruent, we can use simplicity to prove rest of the corresponding part equal. Right. So that's why here by simplicity what will we get? By simplicity what will we get? Angle B A O is equal to angle C A O. Right, look at it. Because we prove ABO and ACO congruent, that's why this these two angles are equal. Okay, so now question number two. Angle ABC is given, and AD is a perpendicular bisector of BC. It is given, and we need to prove ABC isosceles triangle. Means we need to prove AB is equal to AC. Friends, what is given here? AD perpendicular to BC means angle ABB is equal to angle ABC. That is equal to 90 degree. And bisector means what? If B is a midpoint of BC, it means BD is equal to CD. It is also given. Right? Now, how we prove AB is equal to AC? If we prove ABC and triangle AC is congruent, so we can easily Do by simplicity that A B is equal to S. Now look at here. It is first corresponding part given. Second is also given because B is a midpoint bisector, A D is a bisector, right? A D A D common only. Now which congruence criteria we use? Side angle side. Side angle side. Triangle A B D common triangle A C D. By simplicity A B is equal to S. Hence, ABC is a isosceles triangle. When triangle in triangle ABD, AB is equal to AC is given, and altitudes BE and CF are altitudes. It means what? It means it means angle. This angle is equal to this angle. Angle altitude means perpendicular. Yes. That's why angle CFB is equal to angle BEC is equal to 90 degree, and we need to prove these two altitudes are equal. It means what is TB? B 
PE is equal to CF. It is our PE. Understand? So for that, we prove triangle A E E and triangle A C F concave. Right? Now, which is the corresponding part we have here? First, AB is equal to this given. It is given. Second, angle A angle A common. Look at here. Angle A angle A common. Both. You can see symbolically also. Angle A angle A common. Right? Now, this angle A B E may. This is also 90 and this is also 90. So, by angle, angle, and side. Angle, angle, side. This is angle convex and by simplicity, CF, PE and CF, these are corresponding sides. So, PE and CF are equal. By simplicity, equal. Right? Students, in the same uh, question number four, read the question number four. In question number four, in triangle ABC, what we need to prove? PE and CF, these two altitudes are equal. It is given. And we need to prove triangle ABE and ACF congen. And in the second part, AB is equal to AC. It means ABC is an isosceles triangle. Right? And this is the equation number third. The same diagram is given here. And the same diagram we use here. Right? So look at here. Only one corresponding part will change. That is BE is equal to square. In question number third, AB is equal to AC given. And in question number four, BE is equal to square given. The rest of the two parts are the same. Angle A, angle A common, and these angles are maintained. Therefore, angle, 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 side. Again, it is two angle congruent, and by simplicity, AB is equal to AC. This is our second part. This is our first part. So, students, in this type of question, we need to pick a appropriate corresponding parts equal, and then we can easily prove. Two triangles 